Kia ora. Koe, I'm Donald Hollingsworth and welcome to Takatapui Talk, our fourth one, coming live from my salon in uh, Hinemoa Street, Rotorua. I know it's a hairdressing salon, but what a perfect place to have a podcast. Don't, don't you think, Babu? Hi, 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 Donald. Tēnā rā pātou katoa e whakarongo mai nei ki tēnei kōpa i purangi tuawha uh, ko Takata Apui Tō. Ko Nani Rahau, uh, i pita hoa tōku māma no ngā te mani apu tō, i pita hoa tōku pāpa no tō ati haumira pāpa ni. Hei oi anō, i tipu rake a hau i raro i te haumaru a hini apu kohurangi kei urupara. Uh, ko noho a hau ki konei ki roto rua nui a kahumata mumoe. E nai anei. E nai anei. And me, nā tihene e hapū. Nā pohi e iwi, and I'm Nā down here. I am, and I'm a foreigner <laughs> here. I'm a foreigner here. My mother always reminds me of that, that, you know, Nā Tihine, we are foreigners here in Te Arawa. Are you a foreigner here, being mani a... Oh, I, no, I think I've been adopted. Oh. I think I've been adopted by my aunties and, 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 and the nannies here, which has been beautiful. Um... Yes, as much as, I mean, so much so that my cousins from Maniapoto are like, oh, look, this is our Tarawa cousin, I know. All of that, oh. yes. Oh, so you oh, even... I'll take it. You get introduced as Tarawa cousin. Yeah, this is our Tarawa cousin, Nanu, and my Kia ora. Wow. My Makitu, Ki Tongariro. I am a descendant of Kawati, so I just can't give it up. Kawati, Ruapeka Pika, Google it. Well, I mean, like, you know that there's these, these pla- um, parts up north that mm-hmm. can lead them to here. Like, they have very similar... Well, a lot of my Te Arawa wahine that come to the salon to have their hair done have told me that Kawati took women from here. Yes, yes. How do you feel about that? Do you, oh, you're not from here, so... Well, I mean, like, but why would you not take women from here? <laughs> I know. I mean, they, they are beautiful they women. I Okay. A lot of their hair's not, though. Yeah, well, I mean, that's why they come to you. Wow, that's true. Some of them come. Some of them don't survive. We all come to you because of our hair transplants. Yeah, but some of them don't survive. Some of them move on. Some of them are like, you know what? He's too much. He's too Napuhi for us Te Arawa sensitivity. (laughs) Is it because you're too Napuhi or you're just too queer? (laughs) A bit of both. Bit of both, like, bit of all yeah, of that. He's a bit dramatic, and I'm like, of course he is. He's fucking queer. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why they're surprised. Yeah, he's takatapi. He's an old school takatapi, and he's just being an old school takatapi. They were. You were loud, proud. You yeah. know, vocal about your existence. Well, we've worked so hard. Like, we just want to blend in. No, I don't want to blend. Don't blend in. I'm not a blender. You were born to stand out. <laughs> I'm just not a blender. Oh, sorry, I need to warm up my voice. <coughs> I think we're good. Oh, no. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> I, 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 you're hardly a blender, my darling. You're hardly a blender. You and I, we're not both blenders. I had this lovely uh, manuheri in the salon, my salon, yesterday. If you want to go, it's my salon, uh, M-A-I, my salon. 1237 Hinamua Street. Yes. And I get courier service from... <laughs> What's up, couriers who have... <laughs> I was trying to segue I'm you like, into... Um, I don't know. Who are Give these people? <laughs> <laughs> so, no. we're all about Fano here and our uh, and our we are co-popper. sponsored by a beautiful courier company known as What's Up Couriers, which happens to be run by my sister and mm. her family, so Mel and Trevor's. And they know how much we love them. They do. They, do. they know. I, even when I take my aggression out on them, like I did two weeks ago. But anyway. Oh, yeah, that's another story. But no, it was, it was a story from that last time. We love them, though. We love them. Both of... And I, I just... You. I think we all need to understand how it's important to appreciate the people that truly support us. Especially whānau. To, I mean, to I we talk a lot about found whānau mm-hmm. and um, people that we... we adopt along our way because they are of similar minds, similar way to us, similar... But when you have Fano who accept you no matter what, that's, mm-hmm. I mean, it's one of the most beautiful things ever. Uh, it doesn't always happen. No, it doesn't. And so, because it doesn't always happen, I put up this thing the other day because about, you know, we have our week 
that was. And I put this thing up the other day. It was a meme. Oh, not a meme. It was just a statement. Moving yourself from S-H-I-T. From that re- repeatedly triggers your mental health. Hurts your heart. And you know what? It's top tier self-care. And I've done that recently. It's it's challenging. Should we call it challenging? Bring Takatapui Nanu. And having, you know, because, you know, you're in, you know, your environment with your beautiful sister, who are my manuhiri, and I try not to, you know, take them from you, but they're such special people. Because you're just so nice. Yeah. She's so lovely. Yeah. So lovely. And understanding. You can't help but fall in love with her. Yeah, I have. Is that why you've kept her from me for so long? I keep her from everyone, too, oh. because I know people fall in love with her. I'm like, I don't yeah. want you to fall in love with anyone else. Get your own sisters. Yeah, get <laughs> well, unfortunately, get my your own sister's loving a... siblings, would you? <laughs> unfortunately, my sister has addiction issues. Yeah, as you know. But she's still lovely. I've met her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she's not like Mel. No. She's not like Mel. You know, like Mel, when she knew that we wanted to do this podcast, she was like... My uh, Tane and I would like to support you financially by helping you buy your equipment. Because even though we've whipped up a podcast, we've also tried to approach it in a very professional podcast way. Yes. With our equipment and our people that have uh, total us. Mm. And total mine. Yeah. And the, one of the biggest things about is that she will total something that she believes in. She's supported a few people over her time. Um, some people I probably didn't want to support because I thought they're just using her. Well, you know what, Nano? Let's set up. Let's set up the vision of our beautiful Mel. So Mel is your sister. She, I'm six foot four, so she's tiny compared to me. She's four foot. Not a lot. No, it's probably about four foot. Not a lot. Like five foot. Gosh, so next to me she's tiny, yeah, but I always tiny. pour myself all over her and hug her when I see and her. you're not the only one, everyone who knows her and loves her does the same thing. Yeah, but she doesn't do that for everybody. No. So we love Mel, and she's got a very important job. She runs this very big company, and she does run it, even though that's not her title, but yeah, she pretty she much runs, runs it. The family business, which is the career. Well, that too. Like, yeah, yeah, and... She gets an opportunity when she comes to me that when you come to my salon, you're guaranteed that I'm running it. Yeah. And that I'm treated well. Yes. Um, And you're just going to come here. She's loyal. She's loyal to a fault. And I'm going to do the best job I can. She's loyal because she was loyal to another hair salon for about 15 years. We won't name them. Um, Yeah, but can we? I really want to, but we won't (laughs) because I'm a hairdresser bitch. But, you know, they... (laughs) They I they like, charged I, her I, double, yeah, and I adore Mel. I adore Mel, much. but Mel's got two hairs, and both of them have psoriasis. Mm. You know, like why do you charge this beautiful woman so much yeah. when what you do nothing works, and she can't understand? So she can't understand why she was treated that way for such a long mm. time. For fifteen because years, when she's come to me. She's come to me. It's not that I'm cheap. I'm not saying that I'm cheap. I think about my market and mm. what they can afford because I want beautiful Wahine Māori coming to me. she would spend... Like, you know, honestly, she would. And she goes, that's not enough. Thousand, and she tips me. Close to a thousand every visit. Yes. To be treated like a second-class person. Yeah. Just, you know, yeah. so to be treated so your money doesn't matter. But she, she gets charged that much personally. But with me... I look after Trev. Mm. Now let's talk about Trev, shall we? Um, well, he's my brother-in-law. He's my sister's husband. He likes sports um, and hunting and fishing. Uh, he's very, very honest. Um, he is. He keeps it very simple. And, he's straight. And well, obviously. Um, but I love the fact that you are able to accommodate for both of them. But the thing, you know, the reason why he can sit in my chair and I can accommodate him with his styling in the way that, you know, I said to him the other day, you look like Justin Timberlake, you just need to lose 20 stone. 
and he laughs. It's it's so Johannes, funny. Johannes, it's like it's like so person. funny. No, no. You treat him and like he adores person. that. He's and precious. I love him. I love the weirdness, the straightness of him. And it's, it's, and it's so. It's like so straight. Yeah, it's so straight. Oh, it's so God. straight. But you have introduced him to the way that I am because I will not compromise who I am. No. I'm as outrageous for you, and you know this about me, I'm as outrageous for you as I am to my clients. Mm. Yeah. And then we appreciate that. Not all of them do. Well, not all of them do. I've been called an abomination. Um... But you know, I'm, I'm a no. Yeah, but do we do we do we pay attention to that? No, things? I don't. And all my friends were like, "Did you chop her hair off?" And I was like, "No, because I don't want to ruin my work. Because I'm a really good hairdresser. Because you're a professional. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I'm a really good I mean, hairdresser. She now has the living regret of having bad hair. <laughs> yeah, true. Yes. Or going to the other place. Going to the other place. Yeah, yeah. but. Um, that's the thing about my manuhiri, and uh, I just wanted to, you know, because we obviously started talking about um, Trev and Fano. lovely Mel Fano and what they have done to support us <coughs> in this situation. So I'm, I'm absolutely loving it, and so thank you both. Thank you both. Yes, thank you, Mel. And so that's Isn't how we lovely? we appreciate you <clears throat> all the time. All the time. Yeah, especially when. I'm... Not in the best mood. <laughs> oh, she knows your moods though, doesn't she? She does. Don't get her in a mood though. Fuck. Oh, run. Run away. She's the nicest person ever, but you piss her off. Oh, my God. <laughs> She's like, I'm scared. You'll be in trouble. And not many things scheming at all. She does. How has your week been though? It's been it's better. It's got better. I have, I have my voice back. I had a little bit of... Lauren Jarvis. Oh, no, did you? Yeah. What happened? Nothing. Which really nothing? Like, nothing happened. Oh, can you Lauren create Jarvis. something? Well, I mean, no. I just, by Monday, it was just not good. Tuesday was worse. Wednesday had Was there any kind of like, you know, sort of tucked behind a dark corner situation? <laughs> Alleyway. Yeah, was there any alleyway? Somewhere, or maybe at the park, no. You know, like sepsis, like something. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. No, it had nothing to do with any sexual activity. Because remember, I'm asexual. I don't do that. Actually, sorry to the two guys that I flipped off this week. Because it's oh. I just, I'm not into it. Busy. No, I just can't be bothered. With all of that? Yeah. Was it a Mr. Burns moment? No, or? no, no, no. And they're both beautiful. They're both very beautiful. So what um, is that Mr. Burns moment? Just not feeling it. No, remember, you know, it's when they're 80 oh, and they tell me I'm 50. Uh, 50. That's a Mr. Burns moment. Yeah, it's a, no, these, these, these two guys are young. Oh. One's, like, one's 33, one's 25. Did you not want to do all the work? No, or? I just, I, look, I just, it's not my thing. Is that asexuality? If you know, can you tell me? If not, I'm no, just being just, a bitch. Am I just being a bitch? Am I being a prude? No, it doesn't seem that. It seems ha. Yeah, it does. What is ha? Hoha is annoying. Hoha. H-O-H-A. Is it ha? It can be. Can be. Especially when it lasts like two minutes. Oh, when they do. Mm. That's how excited mm. they get about you, I don't they? I for this. I shaved my armpits for this. I shaved my chin for this. No. That's how excited they get about you, isn't it? I shaved my fucking shit for yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm douched. I'm, a, I'm fresh. I'm ready. Have you ever used Kawa Kawa? Mm, to douche? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think Kumara would pretty work better. Oh, because, you know, that's the Bushman's. It'll go straight through you. Yeah, that's the Bushman's soap. That will cook. Uh, what is it, Toroi? Little bit straight through, little clean up. Yeah, that would, hey. Kumara Ho would, though, eh? Hey. <laughs> yeah. Kumara Ho. Yeah, I love Kumara Ho, especially when I've got a cough. So if you're looking for a sinkta, or is it sinkta? For your cough, you'd get some Kumara Ho, wouldn't you? Make it into a tea. Yeah, or some sort of cream. <laughs> some 
Not a lubricant, though, because it's kind of soapy. Wouldn't it, it wouldn't do well. It wouldn't do well as a lube? Probably not. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Why did we decide to start moving rum wine to lube? I don't know, because we set it off as far, though. <laughs> <laughs> so we what were talking is... about family. Okay, right, we should go back to family. So I um, had a statement at the beginning, which was about 15 minutes ago, wasn't it? Which was, um, you know, removing yourself from your family. Oh uh, no! I I wanted to talk about this because I was like removing yourself from your from shit that repeatedly triggers your mental health and hurts your heart as top notch or top tier self care. And a client of mine said to me, or a hoodie that comes, remove the word whole word shit and replace it with family members. So you know it might be family members for me, Nanu. But I've found a place after speaking to a beautiful. A uh, woman, a wahine today, Leanne, and she's read m- my cards a couple of times. Yeah. And so she kind of backed up my insecurities. And that's what I love about, not backed up my insecurities, but helped me to, you know, get rid of them. Feel, you know, like flatten them out. So how do you do that? Um, well, how she did it was she talked about what you're doing is what you're supposed to be doing. What you're doing is you are freeing yourself from toxicity and even if it is your whānau and what you're feeling is grief Mm. because you have not been brought up that way. You've been brought up as Māori to be connected to your whānau. And you know, Nanu, as you know, we're friends. I moved back here for them. Not that I'm putting my whole life into them. I just wanted them to be a part of it. Mm of what I'm doing. And now I've had the most incredible opportunities. I've opened this beautiful shop. I've opened my... We, I get to do people's hair, and I love hair and makeup, as you know, and of the most incredible locals, and I get to look after you. I get to do this podcast. I get to share my story with mm. our people. But you have the darkest family next to you. When I say dark, I say addiction. And I say living on addiction that has ruined their lives. I also see a lot of mental health. I see bipolarism. And I see, because they don't know they do it, I see narcissism. These are incredible words that you all need to look Google and denial. And so I see that. And then I go, I'm not that. So with you included and a lot of other people, Mel, people that I've become emotionally close to, but then also I share my life with, helps me to realise that I'm going to be okay and that I don't need to feel lonely. Yeah. Because and also, also you have some very beautiful family members. Yeah. Like your nephew, who is amazing. Oh, and my nephew, nieces, yeah. You know, and they're going to yeah. be there for you no matter what. Well, I actually saw my niece today. It was yeah. so lovely to see. She brought me to the salon yeah, to our good. podcast tonight. Yeah, it was you know, divine. Make it worthwhile. Yeah. And, I, I think the biggest thing about when you learn to let go of whatever's holding you back, whether it be whānau or, or shit or <coughs> streets or whatever, um, the biggest thing is to forgive yourself. Like, For having to be huge. able to do that. Like, forgive them because it doesn't, it doesn't let them off. But it allows your spirit to move on. Yeah. Um, but ultimately, I think, forgiving yourself. So, because you didn't, have anything to, you didn't have anything to say about how they were treating you. No, you I didn't. I didn't. Way. Yeah, I was just treated that way. It's not your fault. There was nothing but isn't wrong there with isn't there other takatapui that have their fano pe- treating them this way, and they're like, they've always treated me this way. Mm. You need to have a cut off point. Yeah. If it's destroying you, if it's not serving your spirit. Yes. It's not serving your life. Yeah. If you are not happy, why the fuck would you allow them? Yeah. Care? Yeah. Or to be there, or to remain. I mean, yeah. I know this is easy because I don't have as much as everyone else has. You but still have enough, still, though. I it's all relative, my darling. Away from it's all shit. relative. And I did. I had to decide to do that, though, and I did that. I decided. I said, no, this is not going to treat me or determine how I turn out. This is what God's given us. So we have to make it work for us to make it work. Do you know what I mean? Mm. We're not going to lie. We're not going to be inauthentic. We have to do this for us to have successful lives. Because if we don't, it slows us down. Yeah. I, I mean, I, we I, have owe to to my, I, owe, I owe it to my tipuna. Yeah. My tipuna 
we're, you know, we're all part of a legacy. We're all part of, as Māori, we are all a part of a legacy. Mm. We owe it to our tūpuna to keep moving forward, no matter what. We were very special people. To we still are. Oh, well, we still are, but we were then. I know Kawati had a slave. My auntie told me this once. I need to back a lot of it up before I start talking about it now, because my auntie yeah, cause might not have been telling the truth. <laughs> We don't have to, like, stir up the... Yeah, you know, I know. Push. We've got to be careful. Um, but you know you know about... Like, uh, you know about uh, Tutanakai's... Uh, well, I, mean, I know a story, yes. Oh, yes. But yeah. it's, not, it's not even legend. It's true. And it's all that's been handed down from Kura and Kura yeah. and stuff. And many people... But many people here are sensitive about that. Because that's their tupuna. Yeah, right, yes. And a lot of, a lot of men are like, that's not my tupuna. Yeah. My tupuna was a man. Yeah. And like, and, but then it's like, what is a man? What is a man? Does he yeah. have to be all of this stuff that you can imagine him to be in order for him to be a man? And if he's not, yes. What? Why not? Mm. Mm. I mean, we think of when we think about a, like up north, um, Tupunawahine, your female ancestors were very strong. Mm. Same in the coast. Well, my chief, my you original know, chief like, was so um, Nashihine Amaru. Mm. Hine Amaru. She is in my Urupa, uh, Waiomio. Mm. She's in the caves where Kawati is. These people are my direct descendants. Oh man, I'd love to be buried in the cave. <laughs> I won't, I won't. Well, this is legend um, that my auntie, two, two or three of my aunties, my mother had six sisters. This is why I always believed that I came from greatness. And as you probably know yourself, Kawati was an incredible chief. Yeah. He did incredible things. And, you know, the things that he taught people were through a picker picker. look it up, it will tell you, <laughs> it will tell you what the picker picker was. <laughs> and so these, these are our whanau, these are our family, and you've, you know, I'm a direct descendant of him, and he did what he did, but he had a white horse, and he had, uh, what was a slave? What were they called? Mokai? Mokai. Yeah, Mokai, man. Yeah, he had him. And when he passed, probably two or three days after his tangi, because of course it was big, they put his horse and his slave, his Mokai, onto the edge of our cliffs and shot him and set him into the caves to be with Kawati. Wow. And... I was like, I, you know, I said to my auntie, this is my fantasy life. Quickly, I just thought I'd say, I'll declare my fantasy life that I would have been Kawati's slave. Well, I, I think you would have said it the right hand. You know what I mean? Like, you I would have had fabulous have hair. Advisor. I could see you being an advisor. And in any kind of situation, I just imagine you just being that person with the wise words or the quick wit. The master of whisperers, if we go and game, you know, just a gentle you would, touching. You would know if... <laughs> gentle. <laughs> the gentle touching of people, and there's so not anything else. But you know, you, I, I think you would have been that, that person who would give advice. I would, well, to people and you know. I mean, you do it anyway. Well, as yeah, my without even being asked, my head that you know, I you, do just, now. you just it's there, so you just yeah, it comes, know, yes, it's something that comes natural to you. Yeah, you have asked me this before. How do I ask people these questions? And I just do. Hmm. I just do. So when people say, "How, how are you so honest?" I just say, yeah, I just ask. I don't know any other way not to be. Yeah. Because you thought it was quite interesting how I ask people these things, and I do just ask people things. Directly. And oh, how's like, your husband? Didn't he break his arm? Did you do that? And I was like, I actually do. I'm like, can I have this? Yes or no? Yeah. And they're like, yes. And cool. Is it because we're being rejected enough, ejected, you know, rejected enough ourselves that we feel we can handle it? Rejection. Possibly. I think um, rejection is my superhero, personally, myself. You know, it's really helped me to get over myself, actually. You know, my sort of rejection. What people might say to me at school. What sort of school did you go to? I went to Tafio Primary School in Mubara. Then on to Rangitahi College in Mubara. So, mm, not for the faint of heart, because everyone got picked on for everything. Everything. Too short, too breathing. Brown, too brown, too white. 
not well enough, not smart enough, too smart, mm. not sporting enough, too sporting. You just got picked on. Um, right. But because I was different from everyone else, yeah, even more so. And so what came me going was like, I'm Chitara from the Thundercats. Or Tina from Masters of the Fucking Universe. Like, I mean, I know we talk about, like, you you always imagine yourself being a princess. Mm. Or oh, oh, Wonder was, Woman yeah. or Farrah so Fawcett so from, you I'm know. Strong female people. Yeah, always. Female characters. Because we were strong. Do you think trans, trans women should be swimming? I think anyone should be swimming. Yeah. Oh, like, in, in, in terms of Olympic sports. Yeah. Um... I think, and this is just my opinion, so if a cuddle more you want, my 20 cents, come at me if you want to, this is just my cuddle. Give us our own fucking cake. Oh my god. Give us, we Don't we need our own? We talked about this now. Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah. Mm. We need our own categories. We mm. need our own sports. Yeah, because then we can excel as ours, yeah. as us. Because we're different. We don't need to excel we're, in the world of uh, women or men. We could be more be, than women or men. I don't want to be compared to them. I don't want to be compared to them. I really don't. And I knew we felt the same way about it. It's quite boring, actually, how they compare us to them. Yeah. It really is. So, yeah, I'm kind of comfortable. I'm comfortable coming back from Sydney now. I've got to start to, and this is what we need to reflect on ourselves, is that when we start to go, you know what, things are hard, things are difficult. It is an energy of the world today. There is a lot of people that are feeling quite dejected, confronted, um, you know, and that's like overwhelmed. That's a big word that's spreading around at the moment. And you know what? You've always got to remember as human beings, because we are all energy, we're all feeling the same way. There's incredible overwhelmness. There's incredible people that are feeling like it's too much. We're all feeling the same You're way. Not alone. Yeah. You're not alone. You're not alone. We're all feeling it. Mm-hmm. We're going to be maramataka because of the tomatia mm. moon. Oh. Um, What's the know, other one? Um, um, you know, um, moon and um, something. Oh, Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde. Yes. Mercury retrograde. Yeah. yeah. That's the park of our team, but we have tomatia moon, which yeah. is the unpredictable moon. And unpredictable moon. Of that. Yeah. Right. Um, and you know how people can work through it, as I try and do myself, is don't look at it. Yeah, I, I tend to reflect afterwards. Reflect um, afterwards. Be think, oh, careful yes, before you that's enter why, it. That's why that, because I don't think it matters what I do. It would always go into that space anyway. Yeah. So it afterwards. Will. It's going to go there oh. anyway. So know that it's going to go there anyway and just look after yourself because, you know, we have forgotten that our heads are the reason why we exist today. It's not our bodies. Our bodies follow our head. So if our head is feeling clouded, homophobic, victimised, what's the other, traumatised, if your head's feeling that and you haven't dealt with that, I'm only talking about myself. I'm not talking about anyone else that's Mm. listening. I'm only talking about myself. If you don't deal with it, you can't move forward successfully. You, you have to deal with it somehow. Yeah. Whether it be counselling, whether it be yeah. shit talking with a mate. Um, shit talking with a mate. Like, Start one, with that. 1737. If you need support, 1737 is a free number that you can text or ring and you can speak to a counsellor. Mm. They are there all the time. Just so you know. You need someone. You definitely need someone. Was that dark? No, I don't think it's dark. I think it's real. Um, and that's what we're here. You know, we're here to talk about how things are real here. Yeah. And that is us. It's our everyday life. It's our everyday life. You know, I mean, yeah. I remember being questioned one time, what are you doing for trans rights? Listen, every time I walk out the fucking door, yeah. I'm doing something for trans rights. Simply by being unapologetically or unafraid me. How that is that right. Come on, Nanu. Thank you so a, much for even acknowledging <laughs> that. Oh, it's too much. What are you doing for trans rights? Trans rights. I'm doing it by walking outside. And I'm creating good relationships with people who don't know about trans people or, yeah. or, or about the rainbow community. I'm making them realise we're not a threat. We're that is the actually the biggest problem with any of it. It's not understanding. Because, yeah. Not understanding. 
Um, but talk. I encourage people to ask questions and to talk. Yeah. Because through conversation comes education. It might yeah. it might mean debating a few things, it might mean disagreeing on things, but there's education in that. It's also okay to not know. Yeah. Because we don't know either. I don't know everything like mm. with our with our community, especially with our family here, I'm like, okay, I'm still learning, I'll get there. But we'll learn. We'll learn. It's true. It's really sad when people are surprised by what we say about our lives or the way that we are as friends and then they're really kind of shocked or thinking we're after something. That's what I want to stop. That's what I want to stop thinking that we're after something. So what do you think about what's just, you know, there's been this huge conversation about trans rights. I just thought before you start talking about it, where they had their protest up in Auckland, I looked at these they, thems, trans people. And I thought, for me, is it because I'm old school? I just, I need to look at you and identify that you might be a boy or a girl. I'm sorry. Should I apologise for my feelings? <laughs> I look at a lot of these people and I think, are you... <laughs> What am I supposed to... I don't want to put people in boxes because I am liberal, but who are you? Mm, we're human. Yeah. We're human beings. And if you can see us that way, it makes it, you know, it makes it easier for everyone. Like, yeah, but you weren't there, though. No, I wasn't. Well, and because, to be honest, I don't actually agree with it. Well, that's what I'm talking I mean, about. I don't, I don't think she knew to protest. Um... Because, and we've done this, we've spoken with yeah, we aunties have. and nannies from here. Yeah. Who said, why, once again, is there another park here person coming to speak yeah. on behalf of us? From England. On behalf of us? They from don't need England. It. They don't need it. We don't need our women to be reminded of what it is to be a woman. And, you know, the doom and gloom that she puts up on um, uh, YouTube, how we are trapped with our government and our media. I said, but that's against men. That's all against the rainbow community. Yes. Yeah. You know, like it's, it's a misogynist society. We know that. It's, the system is built against so many people. Um, what about the trans woman that poured t- tomato sauce over all over her? Was it necessary? Was it Maori? No. Yeah. But because why does one, she... Because why not waste tomato sauce? But... Well, that's Because we need that for the boiler. Yeah. And the fish and chips. Yeah. But... Um, do you, do, do you think she deserves the hate, though? I, don't think I mean, does. I don't think she deserves a hate. No, not like but that. Like, if she only poured if tomato if sauce if over If you want to get your message across, then by trying to do exactly what they do. Like, all, all that was happening I saw was that the community was playing into the game to make us out to be villains, mm. to make us out to be subject of, we need to be careful around them. We need to be wary of them because they're dangerous. Yes. They're not dangerous. No, they're not. No. Oh, no, no. It was a very sad situation. I felt sad for... I actually don't know her name. It's Ely. I don't know her name. Ely, maybe. Um, first of all, she's a refugee. First of all, she's Takatapui. Or second of all, she's Takatapui. She is. She is. And she just poured tomato sauce over her. She wasn't the reason why everyone got so violent. I don't think she's Takatapui. She's trans? No, she's not Māori. Yeah, right. Yeah. Or true, yes. Yeah. You know, and we, yeah, thank you for so acknowledging many, so that. We've had so many words taken away from us. Yeah. So, um, yes, non binary, or however they, they choose to identify themselves, that's why not to though. Mm. It's us. Yeah. Well, she's trans. Where's she from? I don't know. Not Ethiopia. <laughs> why did I say that? It's just very. It's, um, I just don't want someone to hate someone so much that they'll kill her or so hurt her. We're going to get hate. For Over tomato sauce. We're already going to get hate for this because. We're already getting it, Abe. From our own community. Because we're, we're not fighting with what happened. I don't agree with what happened. No, I don't at all. It's so aggressive. We don't, don't do that. that. Fina Cooper didn't go and pour no. tomato sauce on someone. No. To put your head on you didn't either. You know, we come from them. We come from their stock. They simply march to have their voice heard. That's what we need to do. We don't need to be aggressors because then we instantly become them. We become those who we were trying to 
um, protect ourselves against. And that's not the way that I think we should go. I... From a Māori perspective, from me as yeah, a Māori. Yeah, that's right. As that's, 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 that's my, my perspective. Yeah. And no hate, oh no, no, I don't want to get into those no, people who did. Fine. No, no. Kei a koe. Kei a koe te tikanga mo tēnā. That's your way. Yeah. That's why. But that don't, don't include my community in that. Mm. And I've, I've spoken to people who went from our community and I was like, did you accomplish what you set out to accomplish? Do you feel good? Mm. And they're like, no, not really. And I was like, cool. Mm. What are you going to do now? Yeah. Because now you're seen as a danger, as a threat. That was a mess, though. Yeah. And we're not a danger or a threat. Mm. It was so foreign to me. I've never seen it before. Because I've I, grown up with these it women. Didn't make sense. I've it, didn't grown, make sense. it didn't make sense to me. It really didn't. You know, talking about just the normal protesters that are yeah, in my I'm life. I'm happy or, for you to protest about whatever, if that's, but there's a, there's a way to do that. You know, and we as Māori people don't have to be. We're already considered savages. We're already considered violent. We We're are. already considered, you know, second class citizens. We don't have to buy into that narrative. Yes. And I get that there are many young Rangatahi out there who are pissed off about just being, about sitting on the sidelines and being unheard. And so they're trying to think of better ways to do it. Educate yourselves. Do it properly. Do it, that's the only way that's going to happen. We can yeah. march all we like. But at the moment, no, it gives a shit. Yeah. They're just like, oh, there they are then, the people who can't decide who they are, being aggressive and being angry and hurting an old woman. I heard an old woman was... There was <laughs> many old women's women. You no, know, I'm like, why would we do that? It's Martin. We, we wouldn't hurt our, our kaumatu and queer. Who no, we wouldn't. Them. No. No, we wouldn't. We wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. I just feel like I've just gotten a growling from Fire Nanu. <laughs> I'm not grabbing anyone actually, I'm just saying, it wasn't Māori, there are ways that we do this. Yeah, we don't do that. And I love, I love And you know, no, no, you know the manuhiri that come here, Mm. you know, um, I'm not even going to mention her name, but she's definitely a radical, it's very important to me, she won't even be listening, but you know, she's huge. (laughs) Because she's that much of a critical. <laughs> she wouldn't even listen she to this. Even listen. She wouldn't even be listening. But, you know, she's all about that we wouldn't do that. Because we've already had we a discussion. We wouldn't do it. Look, yeah. our tupuna, even my dami, before they came from Hawaii, our tupuna were well known. Why? Because they didn't listen. Yeah. They did things that no one else would do, they did what they weren't supposed to do. But there was a way that they did it that mm-hmm. kept them remembered for all time for the right reasons. For all time. Time to couple was one of them. Just like my um, Kawati. Kawati. Just like my Kawati. Yeah. He's a builder. Kahumanu. Yeah, exactly. Your people. To Hui again. So, um, not a lot of people know that, well, maybe they would know if they're listening in current times. We're coming up to the election in Aotearoa. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I'm going to vote for who will fuck us over the list. And who the, is that? That's my honest opinion. Who is that, who my darling? Who, who is not egotistical? Who is not an asshole? <laughs> who is not against us? Takatapu, Māori, I, or who, who is against us? Hmm. I think it's, it's got to be Māori. Yeah, definitely Māori. I, 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 us as Māori. More than just us as Takatapu. Mm. Um, but, but definitely, we need to be part of that consideration. Um, do I know at the moment? No. I yeah. don't know either. I mean, I'm fire, so trapped. Fire Jeb's putting up some pretty good stuff. Yes, she I'm is. I'm loving her stuff. Aye, kia ora. I'm loving her TikTok. Nā mihi ki a koe. Fire Jeb from Te Pāti Māori. Um, even like the TikToks from the, um, the, the, the beautiful, lovely man up north and his beautiful wife who are doing some stuff. Um, just... Who? Pizza? No. No, um... Old, um, Shane Jones. No, no. <laughs> I was, I like, frightened. No, Didn't think, he watch, no, like, blue movies tani. once? Beautiful Tani. Shane Jones. Moko. Yeah. Moko. Um, the, that mare up there, Moko. No, no, no. Oh. Um, he's, he's just been... He's on TikTok at the moment. And his oh. wife doing a lot of things to, um, dispel the myths. Who? Then, um, yeah. Who is that? I'll find out. I can't remember. Oh, okay, cool. I just said I can't remember. 
Damn, I thought you were talking about Shane Jones. I was like, girl, are you sure? Shane Jones needs a haircut. He needs a haircut and he try, He needs to stop trying to be young because, you know, he's trying to be really young and it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. So, no, no, darling, what's happening with your week this week? Where are we? We're in September. We're in spring. It's the first day of uh, Daylight Savings. How does Daylight Savings affect your life? Well, I was cleaning today and I thought I had lots of time and it turns out I was looking at the wrong fucking clock. Oh, so you got here late? Well, yeah. Did you? Yeah, well, a little bit. You had to wash your smalls, didn't you? <laughs> to, my, to my uniforms. Oh. And my undergarments. <laughs> your un- and your smalls. And to make me feel like in my hair wraps. Yes, make you feel... Ready for your week. I'm hairdressing as I normally do. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. What about you? What are you doing this week? What sort of people are you seeing? Same shit, different day. Is that how good you feel about your mate? Tell us. At the moment, it's the same shit, different day. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Mm. It's just what happens, really, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You're looking good tonight, though. Didn't we just have a photo shoot? Yeah, because you did my face and my hair. (laughs) (laughs) But I did, I mean, yeah, I looked okay. I feel good. You feel good? Yeah. Very good. Why do we have a photo? I feel pretty. I feel gorgeous. What should we wrap up with? What do you think? Um. What should we tell our people? What sort of messages shall we tell them? <clears throat> be safe. Be clean. Be, look after each other. Take care of each other. Wrap it before you tap it and get it. Um, grinder doesn't always mean love. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> grinder doesn't what? Doesn't always mean love. Mm, that's right. Love. God, I love this music. Fuck a pokey. Good. Thank you. Fire equity to Kahurani, but to all who create Nehemiah Makate. Seek all that there is beautiful in life. Should you bow, let it be to only to a lofty mountain. Oh. You're welcome. <laughs> Yay, thank you. Yeah, that was good. It wasn't my little sickly dog, but it came in my mouth. That was a good one, though. You're the best, Nanu. See you next time. Maybe have a good week. Thank you for Good listening day. in. It's been incredible. Thank God you're still Thank listening. You know, we love both all of you, thousands of you. Takatapu, talk out. Thank you for your support. Always.